Hi everyone, this is Eileen from Northern Light Tarot. So, the title of this reading is The Person on Your Mind. How do they really feel about you? So, for this reading, all you need to do is imagine your person in your mind right now and then choose between these three sets of cards here. This is set of cards number one, this is set of cards number two, and this is set of cards number three. So I'll just give you a moment to do that now. Okay, so I'm going to place aside set of cards number two and set of cards number three. So I can go ahead now with this set of cards number one. So, um, as I say, this is an in-depth Celtic cross reading, looking deep into the energies of your person as regards how they really feel about you. So I'm going to place these cards down now. <clears throat> I just want to quickly mention, if you would ever like a personal reading with me, all of those details to book are in the description box below. Book via Etsy or PayPal. I also offer a reading with a 24-hour turnaround that is available seven days a week. So, let's go ahead now. So, this card represents your person, their energies, their crossing card or help or hinder card, subconscious hidden energies, past or near past, external energies, a future or near future, feelings, environment, hopes, wishes and fears and the outcome card, never to be taken in the literal sense but to be interpreted and the focus of this reading, you know, uh, how they really feel about you. So, <coughs> <coughs> let's go ahead now. So, Right at the center, the six of wands, okay? So this is about public success and acknowledgement, okay? So, you know, immediately what I'm getting here is <clears throat> if things things could be hidden, things could be under wraps, you know, um, and they want, they want the truth out, they want everybody to know that they are with you. Now, this, this card shows, you know, this man on this horse, um, you know, going around town, like, it, it's a form of celebration of the success, okay? Um, so, yeah, it, it's very much about things being out there in the open. This is how they feel about you. They want it out in the open, okay? Um, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, every side that you don't need to be. You could also be... Uh, one of those signs. Now we have the Page of Swords. So this is about a truth, okay? This is about true words being spoken. Um, let's take a look at this past position. So this can be about them wanting to change the past, okay? Because um, this is about them wanting to urgently transform things with the words, okay? That's why we have this Knight of Swords here, and now it's, it's doubly confirmed with this Page of Swords, okay? Um, so, uh, let's take some cards for this past position. The Eight of Pentacles. The Four of Cups and the Ten of Swords. So what I'm getting here is them working their way towards you, okay? Um, I get like this unstable energy with them. This could very clearly, you know, um, there's been some devastation here between you two in the past. That That's, that's very, very possible. Um, it could be like... They know that they failed somehow here in the past and now they want to change everything, okay, as regards going forwards to the future. Um, they're very emotional about you. Um, I, I'm getting, you know, literally the love I lost, the love I lost. Um, there's a sense of devastation here with this Ten of Swords. 
And, you know, the Eight of Pentacles is about solo work. It's about, you know, the inner work that they know they should have done or should do. You know, you could be dealing with someone who's historically really not been open as regards how strongly they feel about you. Um, and this could have led to difficulties in your connection. And they're realizing that now. And this is why they really want to speak to you really quite urgently. Um, speak the truth. It's about speaking the truth. The truth can change everything. Uh, let's continue. Yeah. They're kind of like about to boil over. This is what I'm getting here. Um, they're very, very passionate about you. You do need to know that. Um, with this Knight of Wands deep, deep down in their energy, okay. Um, this is the, the card of being face to face with somebody that you feel very, very passionate about. Um, now, I do, I do sense like an instability with them, however, okay. There is regret. I feel like for some of you, they, they did betray you. They betrayed this relationship in some way. That could be through lack of truth or through an action, okay? Um, through their instability. Uh, let's take this card now. Yeah, instability. They're, they're, they're very deeply emotional about you, but they're very unstable at their core. And they're, they're trying to do the work here. Okay, this can be about somebody who has been too scared, too vulnerable to open up, too, you know, unwilling to fully commit, okay, um, and now they've lost you, and they, or they don't want to lose you, like the, the pennies drop, the, they're finally realising just how important you are to them, okay. I'm seeing there's some dis physical distance between you. That's for some of you. I'm seeing like a combination of Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, and I see that they, they could even have said something to you. And it wasn't true. Um, like they said, they didn't care when they really, really, really care. Um, some harsh words. And they know it. They're very aware of it. Okay. They, they kind of, I get the energy they brought this upon themselves. Okay. Incredible. So I feel like there's movement forwards here. Okay. This is the future position. So I feel like the they're going to take some action here about exposing the truth of how they feel or like taking, want to take this connection with you to a more serious level, okay? Um, five of Swords. What is the, tr the truth? What is the betrayal? Um, I feel like for some of you, they, they've been jealous of you. Um, they're trying to like stay in control of their feelings, but they truly, truly can't. They're, it's like a losing battle there because they, they really, really do love you. But for many of you, they just haven't shown it. They haven't treated you very well. There's something gone wrong here in the past. Um, yeah, you, you see, you are their star. This is the, the wish energy. They wish to be your lover. They wish to, but this is serious love, okay? This is the real deal here. Um, let's take a look. Yeah, they don't want to lose you. And they feel very foolish for what, they, what happened here in the past, okay? They were a fool. 
Uh, let's take this card. Yeah. Truly wanting to manifest with you. The King of Pentacles. This is the card of stepping up. Building firm foundations and taking them all, taking it all the way. Okay. Taking this relationship and this commitment all the way to the Six of Wands. Success. Public recognition. Um, okay, let's take a look. Spring time. So this represents clearly a, a time period in the year that has been or shall be very, very significant to your connection. So if you found this reading helpful, I'd be so grateful for that thumbs up. Um, if you subscribe, then you'll also catch my next reading. Okay, so I'm going to move on now to set of cards number two. Okay, so now I'm moving on to this set of cards number two. The person on your mind, how do they really feel about you? So let's first of all place these cards down. This is an in depth Celtic cross reading for your person, looking deep into their energies regarding how they really feel about you. So I just want to quickly mention if you'd ever like a highly personalized, video recorded reading with me all those details to book are in the description box below book by etsy or paypal i also offer a reading seven days a week that has a 24 hour turnaround so let's go ahead now right at the center of the reading we have the seven of wands obstacles barriers they want to overcome the obstacles and the barriers that are, that, that are that exist between you two they, they want to defend um this connection with you um, they want to fight for you, okay? That, that, that's right at the, the core of this, and it's one's energy. It's very, very powerful. We have one's energy in set of cards number one as well. We have the six of cards, the six of wands right in the center. So clearly, sometimes these readings all blend. So it may be worth you going back also to look at set of cards number one after this. Um, let's take a look. Five of cups, okay? So, you know, this is the card of um, feel, clearly feeling just so sad about what's been lost, okay? Um, so for many of you, they are heartbroken that they lost you or that there's, there's clearly something or somebody in the way of this connection, okay? There's always a beautiful message with the Five of Wands. And that is, sorry, the Five of Cups. And that is that the love between you two exists. There are two cups still standing here on this Five of Cups. Even though it may feel like all is lost, all is not lost, okay? Um, it could be dealing with a combination of fire, uh, Leo Aries Sag. Um, and, you know, we, we've also got, you know, the strong cups energy here. Uh, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, let's take a look at the cards that surround this connection. Uh, the Three of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles. For still deeply frustrated about the, the, what has not manifested between you two. The Seven of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands. Okay. Um, they, that you two could literally be on other sides of the planet or in different states okay and they're really struggling with the distance that is between you like because these seven ones they can represent different people different situations i'm seeing this distance this physical distance is one of the obstacles here for some of you um yeah the the, the this distance is it is deeply affecting them okay they just want to be with you. Uh, let's take this card. Justice, yeah. So there's, there's, there's this like inner knowledge with them that they, things are out. There's, there's some imbalance here. Um, and what I'm getting is there are, that your person feels like these obstacles are unjust okay um 
let's take some more. Being with you, you know, is the only justice, okay? Ace of Wands, Nine of Cups, King of Swords. So they're kind of like, this is about strategy. This is about planning. This is about um, moving you out of their mind and into their lives, okay? They want more of you, okay? You, you are their wish. Um going forwards I feel like that there's that ultimately there's gonna be uh, there could be quite a, there could be ongoing difficulty here for a time okay when you know there's kind of like confusion disappointment in taking this in the direction that they want to take it with you. Uh, let's take another. This could be about a decision that either one of you have to make. Okay? It's about the, the judgment call. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, it's about a reunion. It's about a celebration of love. But there needs to be a, a big decision and a, and a judgment call before this can truly go in the way that they wanted to go with you. Um, there's the acknowledgement here that, that there is some time involved before this can truly happen, before you two can be brought into this beautiful, um, loving true connection okay um but they they're gonna as long as it takes they they're gonna they're gonna this is gonna happen that's this is how they feel it doesn't matter how long it takes they're gonna be with you and they're gonna overcome all of the obstacles that are in the way of this um let's take a look yeah the, there's something about a new, the next new chapter, okay, that leap of faith, leaving behind what no longer serves, so that they can be with you, this is what, it's kind of like they're, they're building up the strength to make a judgment call, to make this decision, okay, um, let's continue strength, yeah, because they know what, how strong this bond is, okay, they do, um, you are everything to them. And they they do anything for you. This is how they feel. And this is what they want. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, prosperity. August, September time. Could be significant or has been. Uh, and this is... This is how they feel about you. You are the harvest. You are everything to them. Okay? Um... If you find this reading helpful, I'd be so grateful for that thumbs up right now. And if you subscribe, you'll catch my next reading. So I'm going to move on now to set of cards number three. So, moving on now to this set of cards, number three. The person on your mind, how do they really feel about you? So, let's go ahead and place these cards down. So, this is an in-depth Celtic cross reading for your person regarding how they really feel about you. So, let's place these cards down, first of all. I just want to quickly mention, if you'd ever like a highly personalised video recorded reading with me, all those details to book are in the description box below. Book via Etsy or PayPal and I do offer a 
24 hour turnaround reading available seven days a week. Okay, so let's go ahead now. Right at the center of the reading, we have the Queen of Swords crossed with the Emperor. I see immediately, I see strong twin flame energy here. Okay. I see a challenging connection. Um, but it's, it's just like the way you ignite each other. It's the way that you literally, like the chemistry here is off the scale. It's very challenging though. Okay. It's kind of like, you're both very strong and independent. You both know your own minds. Um, and you two could be opposites, okay? So there, there may be very, many different things that you like, you know, you do disagree on, but that doesn't stop this being what it is. They, I feel like that they feel this, like they feel, how do I describe it? They feel very overwhelmed when they think about you, okay? Um, the, the, there's something here like you're the, the person who challenges their mind and no one's really truly done that, okay? You're feisty, um, but so are they, okay? Uh, and they know that, that there's something, there is something about the way your two minds connect that just makes them feel so, so pulled towards you, okay? Um, it's kind of like you, you kind of both know what the other one's thinking. Uh, you can call each other out. It's this kind of energy that, you know, yeah, that there's something challenging but very, very solid and kind of like, I get this energy that it was just... You were meant for each other. And this is how they feel about you. They feel like this was meant to be. Okay? Um, oh, yeah. They, they feel like this was destined. They're destined to be with you. You make them truly think. And... You make them... A, a bigger, better person, and they know that. There's just this incredible energy between you two. They've never felt this way about anybody, okay? Um, yes, there it is. That's, this is how they see you. They, they see you as the Nine of Pentacles, strong, independent, beautiful, in charge of, of your own mind. And they, you challenge them and they like it. They like it. The strong, clashing, challenging, passionate energies. Um, oh yeah. Two of Cups. You are the love of their life. That's how they feel about you. You're the love of their life. Okay? There's going to be many scenarios here. You literally are the love of their life. There it is. That's how they feel about you. Um, let's take a look. Yeah. And they want to marry you. Okay? Uh, th this is powerful. Very, very powerful, I have to say. Let's continue. Yeah, there's... You know, it's kind of like... I feel like they, they could have been in several other relationships. Um, and they literally think, where have you been all of my life? Where have you been all of my life? They feel like that they've, the life before they met you was 
it's like such an awful, terrible thing that they didn't meet you sooner, okay? Because they feel like they've missed out. Yeah. Um, let's continue. Yeah. Some of you, you work together. And that you two, when the eyes met, that was it. Um, we've got this energy of time looking at somebody from a distance, knowing that they're the one. Um, the energy of where have you been all of my life? Uh, let's take a look. Oh, there it is. Twin flames. Twin flame energy. Challenging. But there it is. The four of wands. Well. Um, you know. We've got clashing. Clashing energies here. But it's powerful. Let's take this card. Summertime. Perhaps there's going to be a reunion in the summer. There's something here that was significant regarding the summer or will be significant regarding the summer for you two. So... Um, if you found this reading helpful, I'd be so grateful for that thumbs up right now. And if you subscribe, then you'll catch my next reading. This was very, very powerful, I have to say. So uh, there we go. I'll leave the reading there and I really hope that you found it helpful. Okay then, bye.